So here we are again. This time it's uh, another primer for the Gigabytes Cafe uh, 2500 points uh, 40k tournament. It is Todd versus Chris and his Grey Knights versus my Met Guard. Um, if you haven't seen it before or you have, I'll just go through it real quick. We got uh, Psycho Primaris as a headquarters, one, two, three veterans, uh, Melta Plasma Heavy Flamer, Melta Plasma Heavy Flamer, um, melt uh, two Meltas and a uh, Heavy Flamer. Stormtroopers, Plasma Melta, and um, psych full up Psycho Battle Squad, all mounted in Chimeras, respectively. Vanquisher, Pask, Punisher uh, Squadron, Manticore, Hellhound Squadron, two individual Vendettas, and Marlboro for an added kick. Chris, he is packing with his Grey Knights. We've got to back out, it's bigger this time. <laughs> we got a Storm Raven, Lascan, and Multi Melta, uh, Land Raider Crusader, two Razorbacks with. Purifier squads, um, five man paladin squad, uh, librarian, dreadnought, assault cannon, uh, power fist, vindicare assassin, boy, oh boy. six man paladin squad with a banner and Drago. All right, we rolled, uh, we're rolling on the desert terrain table here. We rolled um, spearhead and also uh, seized ground with one objective there, one objective in the ruins here and one objective in the supply depot there. I got first turn, I decided to go ahead and go first. I'm picking this side right here. So Chris will be deploying over there and we'll get back to you after setup and we'll see you then. So the setup is complete, uh, deployment. Once again, Spearhead, um, a force is just kind of arrayed around the, trying to hold off on this objective here. Uh, two Punishers deploy forward, uh, a little castle right here around my mana core. There's my veteran squads over here and a pass hiding here. Turbo boosted or, or uh, scout moved uh, my vendettas to the flanks while uh, Chris put his uh, Vindicare assassin right here. It looked like a statue. He's using his stealth ability. And the Razorbacks deployed with his land raid to the front and he's trying to protect his Storm Raven. And so that he tried to seize the initiative, rolled a three. So it's turn one for Pure Guard. We'll get back to you after the full complete turn. Turn one complete. And it's pretty good. Slug fest both sides. I started the game out. Uh, pretty much uh, the, the, the Vendettas fired in, I immobilized the Land Raider, um, mobilized the Land Raider, got rid of its multi melta mobilized my own self trying to move through the terrain, moved my uh, Psycho Battle Squad and Veteran Squad up, Punishers pivoted in place and got rid of the uh, Vindicar Assassin because of that, uh, that penetrate around, it's just deadly from my army, met that one before. The other Vendetta came over and tried to take some shots, he shook the um, Storm Raven, but he used his uh, psychic power, got rid of that, and he turbo boosted up, moved his, uh, his uh, Razorback up, and he mobilized his other Razorback while moving into the terrain there. Um, dismounted Drago squads moving forward. Um, Storm Raven got some revenge, took out my, wrecked my uh, Vendetta, um, and then Drago's Terminator squad sh um, sh shake, or sh the, can you speak today, shook my uh, Vendetta twice with his um, psych hands. Pretty much from there on, it's, uh, we'll see what happens after turn two. Pretty good game so far. So turn two comes into a close. Um, Imperial Guard led the way. I got Marlboro in reserves. He came in right here. Um, basically what happened was Marlboro threw his uh, charge. It, uh, swerved, it, it uh, scattered off the unit, hit one, got his armor safe. Um, this kit was still shaking, couldn't shoot. Um, he moved his Storm Raven forward. I tried to shoot out a couple things and no, no effect. The Punisher uh, squadron immobilized and got rid of the uh, Razorback's weaponry here. Drago ignored uh, Marlboro because he opened fire with his um, Crusader with his salt cannon and bolter, or hurricane bolters. Killed, just annihilated Marlboro. Um, he's trying to shoot into this um, Vendetta again and shook it and got rid of the last cannon, one of the last cannons on it. So it's pretty much stuck again. And, and that was pretty much it. Um, one good thing was my mana core fired in, got three hits, or, or scattered, rolled three um, templates, and then I just got two double hits. So I got 17 hits total. I wounded Drago, and I got rid of a Terminator. So I mean, it's eh, it all right for that one. Moved his uh, knights, his uh, Grey Knights squad up here, and his other Grey Knights squads moving around for the claim the objective. So turn three, see if I roll my uh, Stormtroopers. And I totally forgot to roll my... Uh, Hellhounds as well for the last turn. But alright, so Stormtroopers and the, the Tan ones, Hellhounds. Both are coming in. 
All right, we'll get those in, and we'll get back to you after turn three is complete. Totally forgot my help counts. All right, so turn uh, three comes to a close. Uh, my turn real quick. My Hellhounds came in, flamed, um, combined with the Punisher squadron, got rid of the uh, Grey Knights here. He moved these guys up. Um, this squad tried to fire his Storm Raven, who moved up and dismounted his equipment via Terminators and Dreadnought, which came in and blew up the uh, Vanquisher Battle Cannon, blew up the Chimera, killed a couple guys with explosion, blew up the Psycho Battle Squad from the Dreadnought Assaulting, killed a couple of the uh, Psycho Battle Squad. Um, also blew up this Chimera here, dismounted the squad of veterans here. This is continued to be mobilized. Um, he used a teleporting little special ability, so he pretty much saved himself a turn by uh, bringing in Drago closer, which got him able to shoot, and that's what destroyed this Chimera here. Um, so turn four, looking pretty bleak in my little castle. He's up there with Paladins, two squads of Paladins and Drago, so we'll see what happens at the end of turn four. So we're done with turn four. Um, pretty crazy. Uh, these guys, these two squads pretty much finished off the last uh, Great Knight normal squad here. He loaded up his Dreadnought, Turbo Booster over here, getting ready to drop it to contest. His Dreadnought's a scoring unit now because of his, uh, one of his Psyker abilities. Um, so he you got an objective there that he's going to try to get. Um, Vendetta moved over. He's, he's good to go now for this round. Um, he pretty much got out. Went over to assault. The, he shot in this guy. Killed like four. Um, these guys went to ground, so they're not going to do much. But um, they rolled a double one for their assault, so they're not going. They're, they failed the assault. Um, this unit here multi assaulted my two, my veteran, my stormtrooper, and my remaining uh, psycho uh, battle squad, and pretty much destroyed these guys. I think I put what one wound on. Yeah, one wound on one of those guys, and that's that's about it. That's the biggest thing uh, for turn four. We're rolling into turn five. And we'll see you at the bottom of it. That was a quick uh, turn five. Basically, he came up, he dropped his Dreadnought, moved his, um, his Storm Raven over, and mobilized my Chimera. And uh, so now my guys are going to have to get out, try to hoof it over here, and try to take this objective. Hopefully, if there's the next turn. And he moved over and did just stun that in close combat with his librarian. And his squad came over and wrecked my uh, past uh, remaining Lehman Russ. So all I got left, pretty much right now, he has. One objective there, and he has an objective here that's probably going to get contested if, if, not, if I can't get rid of him. And hopefully I can claim one objective to tie the game with him. So, we'll see what happens. Chris, you want to roll it? One, two, the game ends. Three, four, five, six, game continues. And the game ends. Son of a bastard. All right, so it's a uh, total uh, great night victory. Two to, two to nothing. Luck of the roll there. Um, yeah, good game. We'll do the after game handshake. It was a good game, hard fought. Pretty much just fought his way uh, into uh, my little fortified area. Um, really, the star for him, I say, is the Storm Raven. It, it just took so many hits with his three plus and uh, three plus cover save, and it's just just rocking. Um, yeah, for me, it was my Punishers. Punishers pretty much just decimated this side of the board. Um, took out the Vindicar and then two uh, total. Um, what, what squad were those? Pure Fire squads. Yeah, so I mean, they did their points worth of stuff. Um, over here, though, I mean, just paladins, two squads, paladins, just coming at me. Um, that's just it's hard to stop. That's just hard to stop. I mean, so many special weapons. Um, I mean, the mana core was it tripled its point value because it was just it decimated some terminators over here, and it was just and it also just uh, immobilized the uh, land raiders. So I mean, it it paid for itself in, in the end. Um, overall, though, I mean. It was a hard fight. It was a good game. And to the very end, if it would have continued on, it would have been it would have been a little different. I think it would have came out to a tie, if if uh, if not a a less a lessened victory for the uh, Grey Knights. But Grey Knight victory. Uh, you got anything? Uh, you got anything to say? Don't 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 sulk. For the emperor. Don't don't sulk. Uh, it is, guys. Just once again, our our, our uh, traditional after game shout out. Uh, Columbus Gaming Group. Dot uh, Gmail. Dot com is our email. We're on Facebook. We're on. We have our own. Uh, www.scatteredice.blogspot.com is our blog, which kind of gets updated every once in a while if something major happens within the group. And if you go to our uh, Facebook, you'll find that our, we have a forum as well. Just look through the older posts and you'll find our forum. And of course, we are on the YouTube if you're watching this. Um, it's a primer for the uh, Gigabytes Cafe in Atlanta 2500-point um, uh, tournament. we got a couple other guys going from the uh, Columbus Gaming Group up there. I think there's a total of four of us. So this is just getting me ready to see what 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 are my what are my weaknesses here, and obviously uh, if they come at me with some paladins, it's just going to be a bloodbath. But uh, 
overall, I'm pretty, I like my army. I think it's well-rounded. Um, if you guys see anything in the couple games that I play with this army, if you see anything I need to do or tweak, um, let me know. And uh, hopefully I do pretty good at the tournament. All right, guys, till the next video.